All right, what's going on guys? It's GCP here playing some Black Ops 4 Nuki Nuke Town. It's all snowed over now for this rendition of Nuke Town. And honestly, what can I say about this map? It's just a fan favorite. People love playing on it. It comes back every single Black Ops game. And honestly, what I can tell you guys about it more than anything, how I feel is it's just Nuke Town. I mean, there's not much to say about it. Black Ops 1 was my favorite new town, but there's nothing really wrong with this one. It just plays like any other new town. That's all you can say about it, really. There's no annoying snipers so far from my um, time or experience playing on this uh, map, so that's a good thing. Black Ops 2 was probably one of the worst nuke towns because, oh my lord. Snipers and oh, as I almost get sniped right there. <laughs> oh my god, dude, the snipers. I'm getting nightmares thinking about it in Black Ops 2. In Black Ops 2, another thing that was crazy was target finding, laying prone. Oh my lord. People. Those types of people in Black Ops 2 were running rampant all over the place, and it was so annoying. So annoying, dude. I hated voting. Or Nuketown, right? I didn't vote for Nuketown in Black Ops 2. I tried to avoid it at all costs, but people constantly voted for Nuketown, and then that's what you would get. People were lying down prone in the back of the map in this long hallway corridor here, and just laying waste to others. And then they either had the snipers or they had the target finders straight on you with LMGs laying down lead, and it was scary. But, anyways, that. That hopefully um, is not going to continue on this map. Again, like I said before, I haven't experienced it yet. So hopefully it doesn't happen. But uh, Nuketown is Nuketown. So that's pretty much it. I am slapping with this Spitfire, man. The Spitfire reminds me a lot of the Scorpion from Black Ops 2. And that was one of my go-to weapons whenever I would want to dominate. Especially as a rusher. And one of, the th one of the things, one of the key things that you want to keep in mind when you're using an SMG such as Spitfire that has a high fire rate is you gotta have a close or medium range map to do it. You cannot, absolutely not dominate with this weapon in a long range map. It's just not gonna work. Ooh, this guy gets turned on, so sit down, turn off your Xbox, boy. Um, it just won't happen because of the because of lack of range and the high recoil time. Um, or the recoil that this weapon has so that's one thing to keep in mind but 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 if you're gonna be playing on a map such as Nuketown and Nuketown is an absolute perfect example of a map that will work well with Spitfire you can absolutely shred people and by the way the attachments that I'm using with this weapon are extended mag and fast mag so I want to be able to fire for as long as possible without running out of ammo quickly and then reload just as quick because in a short map people are gonna come uh, charging at you in just hordes so you got to be able to uh, reload your clip and be ready to fire at multiple people so that's what I do in Nuketown oh my god as I I didn't even see that guy first of all he just blend blended right in right there otherwise I would have shredded that dude um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I can recommend with the Spitfire, and it's easily becoming one of my favorite weapons in this game. I mentioned that on Twitter, and I don't know why I didn't use this gun any sooner. I was using the MX-9 a lot before as my SMG of choice, but I don't know what they did with that weapon. It just does not feel the same anymore. What the heck did they do with the MX-9? I don't know, but to me now, it's a hit marker machine. Before, it would drop people, and now it just, it, it's ineffective. And that's pretty sad, because the MX-9 was one of my favorites. But that's okay, I'm using the Spitfire now. I'm late to the game, uh, but I'm dominating with the Spitfire. I think I go 25-4 and four in this gameplay to finish it off, so that's cool, I guess. Not too bad, right? Um, and by the way, the game mode that I'm playing is not just TDM, it's TDM85. Treyarch, what the heck are you guys doing with TDM? <laughs> it was 75. I don't know why they didn't just keep it at 100. Okay, and then they they brought the TDM 100 game in. And then they took it out. And now they have 85. Like, bro, Treyarch, leave it at 100. I remember the times when TDM just used to be 100 all the time. Like, that was just a staple. 
and now they're messing with the TDM uh, and score it just doesn't make any sense bro just keep it at 100 what the heck is wrong with you guys I mean I don't understand it I don't know what they're doing at Trevor I don't even think they understand fully what the heck they're doing people want 100 okay the community wants 100 so here's a tip keep it at 100 <laughs> Treyarch man they're doing way too much sometimes but I still am enjoying this game so that's how I feel about that so anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay with the Spitfire here on Nuketown on a snowy Nuketown and I'll catch you guys on the next one this is GCP signing off Thank you.